Indie Gang. What's going on guys? I'm gonna make this intro really, really short today because we have a lot of trout to catch. We're finally at the Farmington. Super nice weather, it's gonna be an awesome day. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you think the video is gonna be halfway decent, I encourage you to hit the like button. It definitely helps the channel out. And as always, if you guys wanna use the exact flies I use in all these videos, you can find them on the website, ddflies.com. The link's in the description. Check that stuff out. I'm gonna rig up, I'll switch cameras, show you guys what flies we're at least gonna start the day with. We're probably gonna change a million times today, but we're here. It's gonna be an awesome day, meeting up with some buddies too. So we got some extra backup power. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I definitely am. Let's get to fishing. Alrighty, so at least to start the day on the nymph rod, we got our orange crush. And of course, let me show you, our DHSH. So we're running two nymphs on the Euro rod. And then we got a caddis on the nine foot five weight because we're so far downstream. Hendrickson's are kind of gone out of here. So we're going to take some dry fly casts kind of behind this one good run here. And if we don't get any takes on that, we're just going to grab the old nymph rod and really go pick it apart. So I'm going to flip some rocks, see what's on the menu for today. We might have to switch some nymphs up. But yeah, guys. So let's just cast out by these rocks and skitter some caddis. You know what I'm saying? Just skitter away. Boom. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. Good fish. Came up on that fast twitch. That was a good one. 14, 15 inch trout. Try that one more time. Dang, pulled it right away from him. Just a little bit too big of a men there. Good trout though. And usually when you don't find a bunch of fish, it's because there's one big one in there. Got one. There we go. Sweet Euro rod, never fails. Never fails. Let's go. Tried that dry fly. Not even five minutes with the Euro rod. Ooh, there's a rise down there on the far side. Took the DHSH. Rainbow trout. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Bingo. All right, score one for the DHSH. And guys, please, when you're fishing the Farmington, if you get a nice big wild fish, just keep your hands wet, get them back in quick. Check that out though. All right, dude, let go. All right, guys, rainbow trout number one. Get this guy right back in. So yeah, I don't know, we figured we just kind of start in here. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. and there's space up there. Yeah. If by chance we get that pool with like maybe one other person, Let's go. Nice fish. Yeah, super good. What do you take? Well. Gotcha. There it goes. Got one. Yo. Have you seen it yet? Nope. But I switched my flies. This is the five weight. I was swinging two wet flies. Pretty strong. Hopefully it's a brown trout. Come on. God damn it, it's a rainbow. Oh, 
Let's go. It's like a 20 inch brown. No, <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. Another rainbow. He's flashing like a madman. Dude. You can see him flashing. Oh yeah. All right. Several times already. There he is. Yep. I don't know. It's a, oh yeah, there he is again. I'm looking at a different fish. Let me see these guys clap right a little better. Yeah, sweet. Got him. Oh, dude, that was him. How'd, how'd I miss that? How'd I miss? Dude, I literally said got him because I like waited. Ah, oh, dude, that was a pretty good fish. I'm surprised. Dang it, man. That was the one. Right in there. <laughs> Yo, you gotta see this. You gotta look at this. Look at this little tiny trout. Oh my goodness. All right guys, look at that. Brook trout. Caught all three today. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna switch rods and go get that one that's rising. Brown trout? Yep. Cool. It's wild. What'd it eat? Haha. Ah. <laughs> well, you knew to keep it on for a reason. Oh yeah, nice one. You can let him go whenever you're ready. Alright, I'm gonna grub. Alright, you're good. So you got your pocket, right? You got your one rock in there. See that one rock that's disturbing the water? Yep two feet in front of the rock, right where that nice little run comes down in. Oh, I missed him, he hit it. Took the caddis. Oh, missed him again, different fish. Did he? Dude, there's a bunch in here, I knew it was gonna be loaded. Oh, dude, that big one just came up again right in front of that rock. I'm getting my dry rod. Dude, it's nice. Something's in the drift. Oh, got him. Caddis. Finally. Smaller one, but. Yeah, dude, that one up in that, it's right in that freaking current, right in front of that rock. Speaking of the devil, <laughs> I think I just got one. Keep catching fish. Yeah, wild brown. Nice. Oh my gosh, I haven't even been recording this whole time. Dang, dude, I wasn't recording. That was so sick. It was such a sick thing. I missed, I missed my take and your take. Here's mine. I'll, I'll stay down low in case if he gets below you I got you dude can't that he jumped it just came 
What happened? He just came off. He jumped. He goes quite. I ah. broke you or just came off? I had him. With, well, yeah, it's such a Did he break you off or he just come off clean? Dang, I was trying to get below you. I was gonna tell you to just ease up. I could scoop him. I was gonna wait out below you. That flies good. Dang, just came off. Is it, is it barbless? Pretty big? I didn't get a good look at it. Fat. I'm saying brown trout? Yeah, that was a fat fish. Brown trout? I think it was brown, yeah. Wild brown, I bet you. Yeah, when I saw him that first time up there, I knew it was a tank. He jumped the second he felt me Dang man, that that hurts. That hurts real bad. That hurts. That was a tank. Well, things always seem to get interesting right before dark. Always seems to be that way. I got some inside information I want to share with you guys right now. Updated fishing report as of today, the 14th. Farmington. So let me show you guys. Let me switch the camera around so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here's my inbox on Instagram. I'm not going to show you all of the stuff that customers sent me. But I wanted to share with you this. This is from Ben. He just sent me a pile of trout from today. And everything except one trout came on the orange crush. And then you can see how I was replying. A recent trip that I had, everything was coming on the orange crush. The orange crush was also the most effective fly for me in today's video, in the Farmington trip. I know I didn't tell you guys every single fly uh, that caught every single fish, but orange crush did catch a majority of the fish in today's video. So if you pull up the website, I want you guys to scroll all the way to the bottom. This is where you're going to find a ton of free information. This is all free to you guys. Just come down to the bottom of the website, hit read all. And you can see all these reports from customers, guys. All this stuff is on there. You can see what everyone's catching, different rivers. There's pages of this stuff. I can't tell you how many people are telling me that they're finding tremendous success on these flies. And a lot of it lately has been the orange crush. So I want you guys to take advantage of this. Go to specialty flies, scroll down, and they're right here. Orange crush, I recommend a size 14. That's what everything has been on lately. And uh, it, they just flat out work. I mean, I'm not even doing this to drive a Lamborghini. They just flat out catch fish. They seem to be heating up. They just are getting it done. So grab some if you don't have some. It's a no-brainer. They're catching fish right now. Don't miss out. We got a long season ahead. So definitely make sure you got some orange crush in your fly box. That's pretty much it. Appreciate you guys watching. We got a lot of stuff in the making. We'll be back at the Farmington. Be back at the Esopus. We're going to the Osable this coming week to do some big uh, stimulator fishing in the pocket water up there. It's going to get crazy. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss these videos. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in the next one.